Hey guys, Mark here, and it's going to be a little video I'm making about some basic information on the EXI450 Standard Edition. Uh, now, they also just released uh, version 2 of this kit, so obviously this will apply to that helicopter as well. Uh, now, this is going to be some basic information. I'll show you what you get in the kit when you first order it. I'll uh, show you some of the different electronics that I've used on these EXI450s, just to give you a little more information and uh, show you some of the different options you have for building this helicopter. So... Anyways, I'll go ahead and show you what you get in the box. In the box, see here, this is what it's going to look like when you open up the box. Get your canopy up here with all your goodies, your skids. Get your uh, all your screws and your blade holder. Get your horizontal stabilizer with the night head bars. Uh, down here, got your main blades. These are plastic blades, and they got these cheesy stickers on them there. Also down here is the antenna tube. Um, and then lastly but not least, you got your main frame here. And it's pretty much all assembled, but you can see obviously you got to put your skids together, put the canopy on it. But uh, this, you also get a sticker kit there for the canopy, should you desire to put them on there. Um, so I'm going to take this stuff out and show you a better look at it. Okay, I got everything out of the box and out of their packages here. Uh, so your canopy, it's all by itself with the exception. It's got these two little rubber grommets that you put on the holes there. And that's so you can mount them on there and it'll stay put. Then this stuff all comes in one package here. This is your blade holder. Whoops. You got some uh, Velcro strap, some double-sided tape, uh, some foam cushioning tape. This package is just a bunch of extra screws. It's got pretty much like one of everything there. Um, then you also get a little package of your motor mount screws, your servo mounting screws, as well as the little ball links for the servo horns. Uh, you get your fly bar weights, fly bar paddles, and a bunch of little zip ties. Again, this was all in one package. So then over here you got your landing skids and the bolts for it, or the screws rather. Um, so the skids, the skid horses, you just put your the skids right through there, slide it through. You get these two little rubber sleeves, slide them over. And what the rubber pieces are for is so that when you spool up the helicopter, it doesn't spin. It'll kind of grip the ground there. Uh, but the screws for it, you just screw it right to the bottom of the frame there. It's pretty simple. Uh, these bars right here, these are the night head bars. These bars will be going from there up to the boom. And it comes with your horizontal stabilizer. And in this package, this stuff comes by in one little package, and it comes with the screws included with it, so you know which ones to use. And then you just got your blades and your antenna holder, uh, and then that's pretty much it. And like to get it ready to have the kit 100% assembled, all you're gonna do is bolt your skids on, bolt the night head bars on, put your fly bar paddles on, and put your canopy on as well as the blades. And then, as far as the kit is concerned, it's 100% assembled at that point. So, uh, real quick, these two in the background, these are the EXI-450 squadrons. Uh, and they're pretty much the same thing as the SE, probably the biggest difference between the two kits. These ones use composite fiberglass frames. This one has a metal frame. Um, also, the elevator servo mounts in the back on this one, and the elevator servo mounts in the front on this one. Other than that, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, so, as far as servos, uh, now on the one in the back here, I've got the eSky 8-gram servos. I've also used the 7.5 eSky digital servos. Uh, they work um, if you're upgrading your health to uh, from a Belt CP or a Honeybee King. You can use your existing servos in the kit. Because, um, again, this kit and this kit are the same thing. So the servo mounting location is a little bit different, but the servos required are the same. Um, now, up from these servos would be the ones that I have currently installed in this standard edition. And these are the Tower Pro 9 gram micro servos uh, these work the only different the only thing about these is the cases are just a little bit bigger so you're probably gonna have to sand it down a little bit to get it to fit because it is a tight tight fit um, and the other thing is they have relatively short servo wire so that may be a problem depending on where you're mounting your receiver uh, another one then one step up from the tower pros would be the uh, exi 9 gram digital servos uh, this is the D113F servo. Now these ones, these have a smaller case than the Tower Pro, so these are a lot easier to install. Uh, they have long servo wire, so 
no matter where you put your receiver, you'll never have a problem reaching it. Uh, but these are really nice. And then up from this would be the ones I have in this one. And these are the 12.3 gram Raiden Digital Metal Gear servos. These ones are really nice, but if you don't have the money for these, I would go with the EXI 9 gram digital servos. Okay, as far as speed controllers, um, you can see uh, three of them that I've got here. These are all Exceed RC speed controllers. Uh, the two yellow ones, these are the Volcano series, and then this is the Momentum series. Now, uh, this one I originally got with the upgrade package for the EXI 450. It was the motor, the speed controller, and the battery all in one package. Um, this is a 25 amp ESC. Uh, I've used this the most. I've never had a problem with it. It works great. Uh, so, but recently on my shopping spree, I went ahead and picked up the 30 amp version of it. And the only difference that I actually found between the two was this one, I had to solder the Dean's connector on. This one, the Dean's connector came already soldered on. Um, and then a new one that I just picked up was the 40 amp Momentum series. And this one, again, you can see that I will have to solder my Dean's connectors on. But uh, I just wanted to go with bigger one just to see how the helicopter would respond because uh, this is a little bit heavier because it is bigger and thicker so uh, but whatever ESC you get make sure you get a program card for it because you can this will make programming the speed controller infinitely easier you can do it in under a minute uh, the card is cheap so make sure you get one uh, if you're going to use one of these speed controllers Now the brushless motor that I prefer to use is the Exceed RC Alpha 400 uh, brushless motor. This one I've used them in like four other EXIs. Uh, all have worked great. I've never had a problem with them. So if you're looking for a cheap brushless motor that works great, I would get this one. The uh, it comes with a pinion, and it also comes with the connectors in here, so that uh, if your speed controller for some reason doesn't come with the these little terminals soldered on there, you'll actually get some in the bag. But all the Exceed RC speed controllers here, they all come with those soldered on there, so you won't have to worry about that. So again, that's just the brushless motor that I prefer to use on the EXIs.